These are two very evenly matched competitors. Either one of these men would be worthy of challenging Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the world title. But only one can. And this matchup starts quickly. And here tonight, who is going to be the one to walk out victorious? Can he hit it here? But he runs at him, but right into an uppercut. Now, Brian, look at the blue psycho knee, but oh my god! The psycho knee! And the key shots are at the same time! And both men knocked out! And despite the draw, the fans in attendance still giving these two a standing ovation for the performance here tonight, but this case in a bad way. He's collapsed. And Brian offering a hand to help him up. Oh! A low blow with a keen shutter! What the hell is this about? He's counting his own damn free count! With a low blow! To a man trying to help him out! Where Shinsuke Nakamura's passion and desire and fire to win the world title has consumed him! But this match has ended in a draw! Who is the number one contender? The road to WrestleMania rolls on and a decision has been made regarding the WrestleMania main event. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 69 of No Limits Wrestling. Tonight we have some huge news for you regarding the WrestleMania main event. We'll tell you about that in a moment. But first, let's announce to you that Randy Orton will have a special sit-down interview ahead of his match against Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania. Yes, you heard that right. Randy Orton versus Stone Cold Steve Austin has been officially penciled in for WrestleMania. Randy Orton has targeted Stone Cold Steve Austin along with so many other legends in his business. But he has to go one-on-one -on -one with the Texas Rattlesnake at WrestleMania. However, tonight, Randy Orton has refused to come to the arena. Instead, he will appear live via satellite to give an interview from his home about his upcoming match against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now on to the WrestleMania main event. You saw at the start of the program, last week it was a draw, a double knockout. Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura fought tooth and nail to see who could become number one contender for Seth Rollins' title at WrestleMania. Well, Austin has spoken as the commissioner, and the main event of WrestleMania is going to be a triple threat match. Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the NLW World Championship. Who is leaving WrestleMania with the championship? We will see. Seth Rollins thinks it's going to be him. Now, after the controversy that happened last week, Seth Rollins was very outspoken here on NLW. In fact, courtesy of our Instagram, we can show you what he said. Seth Rollins says he actually requested that it be a triple threat match at WrestleMania to prove that he was the dominant champion that this company needs. Obviously, Seth Rollins has been very outspoken about the fact that Daniel Bryan deserves an opportunity at the World Championship. However, noted that Shinsuke's newfound violent side would be a challenge unlike anything he's ever faced before. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura also had a lot to say on the issue. He says, Daniel Bryan lost. I knocked him out. I had him down for the free count. I should be the one going to WrestleMania to face Seth Rollins, not Daniel Bryan. Well, despite Shinsuke hitting a low blow on Daniel Bryan, which would have disqualified him anyway, then hitting a keen shasa and counting the three himself, doesn't matter what he thinks, because it's still going to be a triple threat at WrestleMania. In fact, the three men competing for the world title at WrestleMania don't have to wait to see action, because they're in action tonight in the main event, only as a tag team. That's right, it's going to be a six-man tag team match. Shinsuke Nakamura, Daniel Bryan, and Seth Rollins team up to take on the Undisputed Era. What a main event that is. The Undisputed Era making their debut here in NRW, their first official match together, and they're going to take on the three men who compete for the title at WrestleMania. Adam Cole, Carlo Riley, and Bobby Fish with a huge opportunity to make a statement tonight, as they've done recently with the Doctor of Pogonomics, John Cena. Question is, can Rollins, Bryan, and Nakamura put aside their animosity in this main event match? Seems there's a lot of animosity here in NLW, particularly between Kenny Omega and The Undertaker. It all started when Kenny Omega eliminated The Undertaker from the Royal Rumble, then the next night, Kenny Omega was cast a match against Pentagon Jr. by The Undertaker, meaning Kenny Omega did not have the chance to challenge for the world title at WrestleMania. Last week, The Undertaker once again tried to help Pentagon Jr. in his battle against Daniel Bryan, but luckily Kenny Omega was there to make sure that that plan did not come to fruition. And it was later on in the evening 
where The Undertaker called Kenny Omega a joke, said he was starting a new Ministry of Darkness to unleash a new wave of evil across NLW, and he wanted Pentagon Jr. as his first recruit into his Ministry of Darkness. It seems as though the first target is Kenny Omega. However, Kenny Omega won't go away without a fight. In fact, Omega's in the ring right now to talk about the situation with The Undertaker. Oh wow, Taker, jeez, I woke up today and um, I was told that uh, it's not a joke and you're gonna get rid of me. I'm gonna rest in peace. That's according to you, so that's not a joke, but apparently I am. And I don't think your problem is with me, Taker. Your problem is with yourself. You were the first NLW champion, and since then, you have stayed in this company all the while, becoming weaker, losing your edge, watching as the young talent passes you by and surpasses you in ways you didn't even think possible seven years ago. And the tipping point was when I kicked you out of the Royal Rumble. I could see it in your cold, dead eyes, your career flashing before your eyes, because after you shook off the knee I drove into your face, you were looking into the future, and that future was me. So rather than work on yourself, you decided you needed an army. Unthinkable seven years ago, but you're at a crossroads in your life, and trust me, I understand. The old saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. Pentagon Jr. humbled you, buried you alive, set the grave on fire, and you realized fighting him was futile. You got him on your side to do your dirty work, all the while hiding your shortcomings as a fighter. What a sad story. I feel sorry for you, Taker. Don't get me wrong, I respect what you have achieved throughout your career, but if you want to pick me out as the first victim of your Ministry of Darkness, then you have vastly underestimated Kenny Omega. And with that said, I challenge you, Undertaker, to a match at WrestleMania. The One-Winged Angel versus the Devil himself. What do you say to that, dead man? Well, Omega claims that Undertaker has passed his prime, and it looks as if we're going to get a response from the dead man. The lights have gone out. As Omega waits a response. Omega, you poor deluded fool. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I've been torturing souls and digging holes while you were still sweeping the ramp on the way to the ring. My ministry will sweep the competition, cleansing the filth that has infested this company. Filth like Kenny Omega. I lost my way. You're right, Kenny. I'm at a crossroads. And I can sit back and play nice, or I can become the devil that I once was. Now I have nothing to lose. I'm more sadistic than before. I beat Pentagon Jr. to a pulp, and that's a man I have respect for. Enough for him to recruit to join my fortress of evil. If I did that to him, imagine what I'll do to you at WrestleMania. But it doesn't stop with Pentagon, Kenny. Oh no. There will be more lost souls that I will mold in my image and join me in my ministry to take down all the filth that has infested this place. In fact, two demons of the night are set to obtain for me a sacrifice. You, Kenny Omega, and WrestleMania, you will rest in peace. Eerie words from The Undertaker who has accepted the challenge of Omega. Two goons and is this who the Undertaker meant when he said he was sending two demons to obtain a sacrifice? Oh, and there he is. There's the Undertaker, folks. That's Kyra and Victor of the Ascension, and it looks as if they are the new recruits of evil to the Ministry of Darkness. First Pentagon Jr. Now these two, and they want to sacrifice. Oh my god, the lights are gone out. What the hell are they doing to King Omega? Omega's strong up! He is hopeless! The Undertaker! Making an example of Omega! The cleaner has been sacrificed! What has The Undertaker got in store for Omega at WrestleMania?
WrestleMania coming very soon, but it's not looking like it's going to come anytime soon for American Alpha. It was a few weeks ago where Chad Gable suffered a horrendous leg injury that looks to sideline him for the remainder of, well, possibly this year. After all, let's have a look at what happened here. The Revival, this is a few weeks ago, the Revival lost to American Alpha and then they took their frustrations out on the leg of Chad Gable. And we don't know how long Chad Gable's going to be out for. Certainly looks like he's going to miss WrestleMania. But um, that's all we can say right now. Jimmy Hart is standing by with Jason Jordan for an interview. Jimmy Hart here, and I'm alongside Jason Jordan now. Jason, a few weeks ago, Chad Gable suffered that attack at the hands of a revival. I'm just here to ask you, you know, how's he doing? How I've heard doctors say he's going to make a full recovery, but how do you? Is your tag pop? Oh my god! That's Scott Dawson! And that's one with a supremacy! Oh my god! Dropping that soda machine across the leg of Jason Jordan! And now they've crippled another member of America Alpha here! After what we just saw, and he is... Well, there's John Cena, scheduled to face... Hey John! Hey John, you big dope! Are you going to accept Adam's challenge or not? Huh? You scared? That's Red Dragon on! Oh, there's Adam Cole! With a steel chair to John Cena! Is everybody going to get attacked? Adam Cole assaulting John Cena before he had a chance to respond to the challenge. First Jason Jordan and now John Cena left lane. Well, the undisputed era ambushing John Cena from behind, but Adam Cole may be pushing his luck, especially considering he's going to have to fight John Cena at WrestleMania. Nevertheless, the undisputed era are still in action tonight against Daniel Bryan, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Seth Rollins, the Dream Team, taking on the undisputed era. That match is going to have huge implications for WrestleMania. And speaking of WrestleMania, Money in the Bank is just a few episodes away now. We already know seven of the participants in that Money in the Bank ladder match, but we found out tonight who the last participant is going to be. There was a last chance battle royal here on NLW earlier tonight, featuring several of the wrestlers still wanting to get on that Wrestlemania card. Came down to four until Rusev was eliminated by Edge and Christian. They were happy, but then all of a sudden, Edge turning on his partner Christian, eliminating him. Clearly, he'll do anything to get on that Wrestlemania card. However, he didn't expect this. Pentagon Jr. was still in the match, hit a super kick, then eliminated Edge, and that means The Undertaker's new protege, Pentagon Jr., has qualified for money in the bank at Wrestlemania, filling out the field of eight. And considering the confidence boost that Pentagon Jr. has been given by being associated with the Ministry of Darkness, which apparently now includes the Ascension as well, The Undertaker has a full-fledged evil arm behind him and the evil pentagon genie was eager to have even more action here tonight when he took on fellow money in the bank participant will osprey you know the undertaker's going to be watching this seeing his new protege pentagon junior battle it out with the aerial assassin will osprey but pentagon knocks a loopy from that kick now osprey going for the ass cross and he's super kicked in midair a kick to the back of the skull of will osprey and now Pentagon Jr. with a newfound evil within going after him. This is a pop up power bomb, but turned around into a Hurricane Rana. Now Will Ospreay. Look a railway freight train. Sasuke Special. Sasuke Special to the man with zero fear. Both of these men, remember, going to be competing in Money in the Bank at WrestleMania. Penta sent back in. And. Oh, look who's on the stage. Another man competing in Money in the Bank. The ex Division champion, Marty Skrull, who last week refused to give Osprey an ex Division title match. But there's a roundhouse kick. Now Osprey going for the Oz Cutter. But it is Marty Skrull with the umbrella causing the disqualification. But look out, here's Jeff Hardy with the ladder. Last week, Marty Skrull cheated to defeat Jeff Hardy. And Jeff getting a measure of revenge. All four men at ringside are going to be competing in Money in the Bank. And Hardy looking for a diamond attack off the ladder. But it gets drop kicked over by Pentagon Jr. Pentagon sets the ladder up and a drop kick from Osprey. Osprey. What is going through his mind right now as he looks at that ladder? Jeff Hardy, Pentagon Jr. and Marty Skrull are prone outside. What the hell is this? Osprey on top of that 20-foot ladder! Oh my god! Reverse 6-30 moonsault! 
twisting twice and crashing onto the competition. Osprey risking life and limb as he will do in Money in the Bank at WrestleMania. But speaking of WrestleMania, there's the two men who challenge Seth Rollins for the world title at WrestleMania and they're brawling in the back. Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura fight after what happened last week, but they have to be tag team partners tonight. How are they going to get along against the Undisputed Era in our main event? Bailey taking on Tamina from Team Bad. Sasha Banks, Bailey's former friend, watching at ringside. Tamina with a massive clothesline. Naomi and Sasha may have to go to the top, but she misses. Bailey does not miss with the elbow, though. Here it comes, Bailey to Bailey. Bailey has put away one member of Team Bad, but you know she wants to get her hands on the boss, Sasha Banks. Bailey with the win there, but she still wants to get her hands on the woman who betrayed her, Sasha Banks. Now speaking of betrayal, Randy Orton has been striking down every legend that has come in his way, including the man he faces at WrestleMania, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Last week, Stone Cold went looking for Randy Orton in the parking lot, but what he got instead was a DDT on the concrete and then an assault followed by an RKO on that car. And moments away now from that Randy Orton interview from his home, Randy Orton alive via satellite from his home in St. Louis. And first question for you, Randy. Why have you decided to... Well, it sounds like you got a knock at your door, but anyway, nonetheless, why have you decided to target Stone Cold Steve Austin? And... Do you want to get that, Randy? I mean, anyway, it doesn't matter. You, you have... Is it... Jesus, I think someone's just broken. What? Oh, my God! It... It's Austin, it's the Texas Rattlesnake! What the hell was Randy Orton's home? Austin's followed him to St. Louis! And he's taken him outside! That's Randy Orton's backyard, literally! And a Stone Cold Stunner! Well, Stone Cold Steve Austin was not going to wait to fight Randy Orton. Orton wanted to have the interview in his home because he didn't want to come face to face with a rattlesnake but that's exactly what he got good grief the NLW commissioner on a tear as we head in on the road to Wrestlemania and there are so many huge matchups already made for the NLW side of things when it comes to Wrestlemania including the 8 man money in the bank ladder match the field was set earlier tonight when pentagon jr won a battle royal but which of these eight guys is going to grab the briefcase and earn an opportunity at their brand's champion any time they wish and it is a women's division match just announced it is sasha banks going one-on-one -on -one with bailey sasha banks is jealous of bailey's success early on in her nlw career and sasha has decided to align herself with team bad Speaking of bad, Adam Cole is bad to the bone, and with the backing of the Undisputed Era, he wants to take out the Doctor of Fogonomics, John Cena. Cena has accepted the challenge after being assaulted by Adam Cole in the Undisputed Era earlier tonight. And who can forget this one? Undertaker is now surrounded by his Ministry of Darkness, the Ascension, Pentagon Jr. as well. He takes on the cleaner Kenny Omega in a dream match at WrestleMania. And of course, after what we just saw, this rivalry has really picked up over the past few weeks. Stone Cold Steve Austin takes on the Viper, the legend killer, Randy Orton. But that is not all for NLW. Our main event is going to have the world title on the line. Seth Rollins defends it in a triple threat match against Shinsuke Nakamura and the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan. Can Rollins escape WrestleMania with his title in tow? We will see on the grand stage. But they're not going to wait until WrestleMania to see action. They're in action up next in our main event. Rollins, Brian and Nakamura take on the Undisputed Era live in our main event. And look at this. Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura face to face after they brawled in the back earlier tonight. 
They don't have to get along at WrestleMania, but they have to get along here tonight against the trio of Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish and Adam Cole, the Undisputed Era, and this matchup gets underway as Kyle O'Reilly and Daniel Bryan start. There's an arm drag from Bryan. And O'Reilly, now with the leg scissors. But Bryan tries to grab a leg, and he boots himself free, does Kyle O'Reilly. And O'Reilly with a hip attack. And that's Bryan with a hip lock. Slides underneath, misses the kick. And a slick transition into that armbar. Bryan in the center of the ring, but rolls out. And a blind tag from Shinsuke Nakamura. Already dissension within this team, and a kick from Kyle O'Reilly to Daniel Bryan. But here comes Nakamura, who these fans are booing ferociously here. There's a boot and a sleeper. Now tags in Barbie Fish to deliver the top rope missile drop kick. And stomping on the spine of the King of Strong Style. Bringing the arm of Nakamura, and now it's a blind tag from Seth Rollins, who delivers a knee to Barbie Fish. And now whips him off the ropes. And a leapfrog and a drop kick to Fish, who is being worked over now by the NLW World Champion, Seth Rollins. The surfboard from Rollins to Fish, who goes into a cover. Hooks the outside leg, but a kick out from Rollins. And now the architect tags in Daniel Bryan. And some teamwork here as Daniel Bryan delivers a penalty kick to Bobby Fish. It goes after Fish, but Fish hasn't caught. And there's an exploder suplex into the turnbuckle. And we're about to see some punishment delivered to Daniel Bryan. Fish backs away. Look out! There's Adam Cole with the Insigiri on the outside and a kick for good measure. Now Adam Cole seeing action for the first time since the Royal Rumble. The Hoshi Garoshi from Cole to Daniel Bryan, and it was several years ago, in fact, where Adam Cole holds a pinfall victory over Daniel Bryan, but that is ancient history now. Daniel Bryan with a boots up to Adam Cole, and he wants to make the tag. But those hyenas, Red Dragon, make sure that Bryan can make the tag, taking Nakamura and Rollins off the apron. And now the double team, Code Breaker, followed by a German suplex. I believe the legal man now is Kyle O'Reilly. And O'Reilly doing the bidding of the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. Of course, Cole will face John Cena at WrestleMania, but Cena's not going to be a factor in this match. After all, he was taken out earlier tonight by Cole in that steel chair. And the Kimura from Kyle O'Reilly, but Daniel Bryan's core strength picks him up. He slams him into the turnbuckle. Now Daniel Bryan desperately needs to make the tag to the NLW World Champion Seth Rollins. The man he challenges for the world title along with Nakamura at WrestleMania. And Rollins tags in. There's a sling blade. Now takes Adam Cole off the apron. But Fish from behind. Has the legs, but flips up and there's an insecurity. And Seth Rollins like a house on fire, running off the ropes and a super suicida to Adam Cole, baby. The former X Division champion taken out at the hands of the current NLW World Champion. Bobby Fish in the center of the ring. Rollins on the top, going for the frog splash, but the knees up. Knees are up. And now Kyle O'Reilly has been tagged in. Big time penalty kick, in for the cover, but a kick out. But he holds the arm, and a slick transition into the armbar. Armbar applied in the center of the ring. Can Kyle O'Reilly upset the world champ? Transitions into a triangle choke. Rollins desperately needs to get out of this, and he does. Turns it into a buckle bomb. And O'Reilly collapses as Rollins makes a reluctant tag to Shinsuke Nakamura, who has O'Reilly in his sights. And Abumaye, knee strike to the back of the skull, but Adam Cole tags his way in. And Nakamura goes for a roundhouse, but a super kick to the back of the skull. Has him up, last shot, Hoshigoroshi. Dropping his weight on the knee. 
Now Adam Cole. Is he going to pull it off here? Can he pin Nakamura? Misses the last shot. Back to his feet. Misses the clothesline. And the reverse exploder suplex from Shinsuke Nakamura to Adam Cole. Cole is dazed and confused. Nakamura wants to hit the King Shasa. But a blind tag from Daniel Bryan. And delivers a missile drop kick. Turn about is fair play. As Daniel Bryan hits the blind tag. Can Daniel Bryan deliver the boomite? Well, the psycho knee. In fact, oh my god! Adam Cole distracting the referee. And for a second week in a row, Shinsuke Nakamura hits a low blow on Daniel Bryan. And Rollins wondering why Nakamura is leaving. And there you see total elimination from Red Dragon in the last shot. And the Undisputed Era pick up the victory in this main event match here tonight. Thanks in part to a low blow out of the view of the referee from Daniel Bryan's own partner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura is gone. And Rollins, visibly annoyed, as Adam Cole pins Daniel Bryan to win this one for the Undisputed Era in his team. This is what happened in the closing moments. Nakamura was looking for the Keen Shasa. Daniel Bryan looking for the Psycho knee, but from behind, a low blow again. Rollins pleading with Nakamura to make it his way back to the ring, and then he got taken out by Red Dragon, and it was the last shot that took out Daniel Bryan. So with that, the Undisputed Era pick up a victory in their first match as a team here in NLW. And Seth Rollins asking if Brian is okay after what happened and they're celebrating now in the backstage area. Oh! Fish gets taken out of the chair in the ground position and it's John Cena. Cena back for revenge after being assaulted earlier tonight. Cena with a chair going after O'Reilly and the man he faces at WrestleMania, Adam Cole. Well, Rollins helping Brian to his feet. And oh! Damn it, Nakamura back again. With a keen chasser to both men he faces at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins. Nakamura makes it clear what he is after. He wants to be the NLW World Champion. Will that dream come true for Nakamura at WrestleMania?